Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the X-Play Fan Channel. I'm here to give you a quick taste of Sundered Eldritch Edition. It is very much a Metroidvania kind of game. Uh, where I am in the game right now, I've actually beaten the first boss and I've unlocked the second area and I've kind of unlocked the third. I've kind of stumbled my way into it, let's say it is a better way. Uh, first off, I'm going to explain the screen here. As you can see on the bottom right, I have my map. If I hit the left trigger, I could actually bring it up and show larger stuff and stuff like that. I'm not going to scroll up because I'm actually... Uh, instanced for the uh, set third area, so I don't want to spoil anything, but that's the map. Uh, uh, if you looked in the middle, if you see uh, in the very middle, I have a red bar, which is my health. Inside of that is a blue bar, which is a shield, which I can regenerate by killing enemies. I have below that on the bottom left with the health symbol. Those are health vials. They're essentially SS flasks, which I use to recover my health. To the right of my health is my energy bar, which is consumed by... Uh, rolling which is good i don't want to show that off yet uh below that is actually my gun which i recently got which is a giant all plasma cannon hey and i that has charges uh below that are shards which are for my upgrades and i've been showing that off a little bit so this is the upgrade tree and as you go on you get you get shards and stuff and you're upgrading abilities and everything like that from like armor shields and stuff like that so i'm gonna actually put another point to here and then i'm gonna not have enough to get that awesome but that's actually an ability orb which is uh something i unlocked by uh a process i i'll show you i'll talk to you about in a second i have these little charms in the middle or what i've been calling and i have a few of these they some of them are upgraded but i have the two that i like here which is uh this one right here which is my uh heal my health as i do damage actually where's the other one uh, this one is, I like this one, is it, uh, every time I kill someone, it regenerates 10% of my shields. And then this other one, uh, more shards when people are killed. So let's see what I got here for now. I want to get some more shields so I don't actually have to worry about my health. So we're going to put some into there. Healing proficiency, nah. Armor. So when they do hit, they do hit less hard. But as you're going around, you're actually finding some more of these charms and stuff like that. They're in certain enemies and in certain, uh caches left it shows all my stats armor and all that kind of fun stuff so that's all there uh so i have an attack on x i can run and attack i can double jump if i if you see like in the middle there these these little clips right above the 31 there's a shard and then above that when i finish that up uh, fill that up by attacking enemies i can get a finisher which is a more powerful attack but other than that it's uh very close to a normal metroidvania game where i'm getting uh, upgrades and stuff like that to unlock areas let's go down here so i can actually show where i've unlocked it but uh one of the really fun things about this game is uh if you attack someone uh it resets your jump so i can double jump attack someone launch myself into the air and jump again so there's a lot of times where i'm just staying in the air and attacking stuff uh for this area that i'm going into now i've actually cleared out the mini bosses and the main boss and the main boss was probably about 50 times bigger than me yes the screen actually pulled back and i was in this tiny like i was this tiny little speck and stuff like that see as you can see here i have all this kind of stuff so one of the cool things here is i've actually had the ability to use the shards i've been collecting for this cthulhu voice not going to get too much uh into the story uh you're wandering in a desert you get sucked into the sand stuff happens uh this eldritch creature wants you to do stuff i've decided to say no so I've been going over to this little fire thing and burning these shards and unlocking uh, uh, abilities that way. I do have to buy them, though, as, of course, I can uh, wall jump. So we're going to actually go to the newest area that I'm in. Uh, the only loading is when you're actually going into these different regions. One of the tooltips says gameplay game progress should be nonlinear, and I was like, yeah, okay, that's funny. So essentially, like, if I wanted to, I could actually go to where I got the, like, double jump ability and I could put the shard there to corrupt it. Uh, I did, I snooped and did some reading and it would actually have just given me a glide ability. But this seems like a game that'd be like, hey, if you corrupt yourself, you're gonna, you will kind of doom yourself. So as you can see here, uh, when I first started, I actually had to go through here and go all the way up through around in here uh, and then go down to this door. But now I've kind of unlocked a shortcut. Where this lock is right here so let's go and see if i can't do that 
Oh, I got ban I got bamboozled. Oh, those are the shards I've been collecting. So we're gonna go down. Uh, you have so much air control. You can actually even extend your jumps by hitting uh the um the uh what's it called? the attack button. So we're gonna there we go. And that's the same thing with the combat is. There hasn't been anything like crazy about it outside of the uh, ability to just stay in the air. Also like just doing that. I've also found some interesting things where like, hey, I'm in the air and I need a little more distance. I can I can blow myself backwards with the cannon or blow myself off a ledge. It's really great and I really enjoy the idea behind it. So I have just gotten the ability that if I hold the uh, attack button and stuff like that, I can break down these walls so go bam. And now I can now quickly transverse the, uh, oh, hey. Uh, I can now get to the next area quickly. Uh, so these are scattered around. I actually think that these are uh, Kickstarter people. That or the dev team. I want to say it's Kickstarter. But uh, uh, that is going to reveal like hidden stuff on the map. But we're not going to detour to find that right now. We're just going to keep moving. So it looks like there is a wall there, but let's keep moving to the left. And that just pushes me down. I can't really worry about that. It doesn't bother me. But as you probably will notice in combat, uh, before I actually start taking health damage, they have to get through my shield. But I have it set up the more, like, if I kill someone, I get my shield back. So we're going to kind of hug this wall. So I can't get really through here, so go BAM! Launch myself off there. And my next goal is to get up here. So let's see where I want to go. A lot of the times when you want to go somewhere, you have to take a very roundabout way to get there. So it looks like I might need to go up. So of course, let's head over this way and see if there is actually anything I can do to uh, eliminate this lock. So there is, so I can actually go. So if you notice in the map, there are two different types of locks. The blue ones, I believe, are like mechanical locks. The yellow ones are skill locks, which are kind of like, hey, this is where you kind of need to go. Uh, ooh, that, that's... Hold on. Uh, that That is a sort of an endurance area. We're going to not go into that right now, but that's a really good way to get shards and stuff like that. It's essentially you're running around and stuff is just continually respawning, trying to murder you. So I can't go down, so let's go to the left. But I love this game. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I love the art style. It is a little difficult, but uh, you'll probably see me like those vases and stuff will respawn. So if, it, if you're really down on your luck, you can go back and just farm. So there's no like, like offensive thing there. Uh, and enemies do drop. Uh, do drop goodies and stuff like that. Creatures look really cool. Art style. All right, so now I have a finisher, and I drop that there, and it murdered all of them. Uh, there's different finishers for being in the air, for being in the ground, for, like, pushing left, pushing right. But they all essentially do the same thing. They're a nice chunk of damage. Uh, the map will kind of have this vague outline, and then there's these interior rooms. The interior rooms stay, but if you... Uh, uh, the, ex the I'm sorry... The interior rooms uh, will not stay, only the exterior ones. So if you see how I got the... Uh... Oh. Uh, there have been times where I have definitely done a run for my life thing. So we're just going to... There it is. That usually does a lot of damage. Oh, keep moving. Uh, so right now, I believe that sound is what we're hearing is a horde. That means it's just going to be a whole lot of enemies uh, kind of just continually attacking until that little that little thing passes. So like, if we had gone into that room, this is what we would be continually encountering. So we need to keep moving and get out of here. And it should kind of wear off once I get to this next area. That gun is so great. 
I really I, I've used it a lot of times to escape as well. So it's like a lot of versatility on everything you get. So I can't really go anywhere this way. So that was a dead end. So let's do this. This game just controls great. I love how it plays. I'm not sure exactly what's different with the Eldritch edition. Uh, if you die, you do not lose your shards. You're just transported back to that starting area. Also, if you don't notice for the animation, uh, the weapon, she doesn't actually have a weapon. It actually is part of her. So if like when you kick down, it's like around her leg. Attacking to the right, you can see it kind of wrapped around her arm and stuff like that. So little touches like that are very fun. But a lot of it is getting through these areas and then unlocking these fun little shortcuts. So if I can go over here, we'll unlock this shortcut and then I will probably let you guys go. So that's a Lith Crawler, which is a very bad... Uh, Uh, oh, I'm still alive somehow. Nope, and that's it. But I was able to open that door, so that shortcut is now open for me to use continually. But uh, so far, I'm loving the game. I'm about three or four hours in, maybe a little more than four hours, and I've just completed the first region. Uh, the ability to corrupt and do stuff to ruins is very interesting. But uh, I would recommend this. Uh, I am Zero JD. This is the X Play Fans Channel. This is Sundered Eldritch Edition. Hi, I would actually recommend it. It's a it's a little late coming in at the end of the year. I'm enjoying it. But uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me. Uh, like I said before, if everything else, like I was doing looked complicated earlier, it's not really. It's just essentially rolling around combat and stuff like that. So. Uh, and it also feels like they balance it out that it's like you can progress even if you aren't the best of this because you can go and farm stuff like that. I think it looks really nice. I'm enjoying my time with it. Thank you and have a nice day. Check out our videos and uh, leave a comment.